What's up guys, it's Yeah Boy and Aegis. This is the fifth episode in my series of the Decal. In this episode we have three Aegis fleetmates on the enemy team, which makes this match very difficult because they are very skilled players. Aegis is a fleet made up of some of the most skilled players in World of Warships Blitz. And three are in the, on the enemy team, so I'm teamed up with Q and F and D and Obi-Wan and Astro Obi-Wan. Like I said in episode 4, is in the main fleet Aegis now. He's a very skilled player, so these two pre-made groups are two very skilled groups. And so what you're going to see here is a struggle for the win. It was not easy. First thing I want to do is tell my teammates to group up, which I already did. Uh, we need to stick together and take out these destroyers first. They are the biggest risk right now. And my job as a cruiser is to take out the destroyers. That's my role. So what you're going to see is me targeting these destroyers for the first half of the match. Try and take them out and then we can focus on others when we need to. Now once you can see Endeavor in Aegis, they are one of the destroyers. Keep an eye on him. He stays alive for quite a while. He's a little difficult to hit because he maneuvers a lot. That's a good strategy in a destroyer is to maneuver a lot. Don't sail in straight lines because that makes it easy for anyone to land their salvos on you. So Endeavor does a great job here with his maneuvering. Now there's a destroyer headed next to Cute in the battleship. And what he's basically doing is, is suicide. I don't recommend doing what Joe does here, the enemy destroyer. He just sailed right in to the middle of all of us. I mean, he's, he's just right next to my whole team. Like, don't do that. Don't go to suicide unless you just want to get out of the match and you're, you're done, you're giving up. Um, I mean, there's, there's no, I don't, I don't know what to say about that, but it's not smart. Now unfortunately Cute is about to get sunk because of that suicide run that the destroyer did. I mean I guess he decided, uh, I guess one, one, th all right, one positive thing I can say is if you know that uh, someone on the enemy team is of much higher skill than you, then yeah you can do, I guess you can do a suicide run and just swap your life for theirs because you're taking out a much more skilled player than you, then I guess it helps the scales a little bit in balance of your team, but um, I really don't recommend it. So now two of our battleships are down. They have three battleships and two destroyers alive. Now it's time to play aggressive because the enemy team has an edge on us right now, having their firepower versus our firepower. I mean, if, if just two enemy battleships have HE enabled and they uh, both fire on the same destroyer, they're going to take out our destroyers with one salvo each if they team up on the same guy. So it would be very easy for us to lose right now. So now is when I need to start playing aggressive with my teammates. So I'm going to go in. It's time to lay down some torps. I'm going to do the right side, then the left side. What I should have done right here is slow down and turn right because I should have expected these torpedoes. That's all right. Now it's time to get the left side off. And I'm going to make a widespread on these left tor side torpedoes because this battleship is maneuvering to the right. He's turning. And I want to make sure that they don't miss. So if you ever just want to make sure you hit them and take them out, you don't want to focus too much on having the perfect path, then just do a wide spread if you're close up and they're not going to dodge them. Now split strut over here, the enemy destroyer behind the island, he is very, very skilled and so I'm a little worried about him. I'm hoping that he's going to head back to his cap to defend his cap because we have a friendly destroyer in the enemy cap. So I'm hoping he'll just leave me alone, <laughs> but he doesn't. He sends torpedoes my way. What I'm doing is keeping an eye on that area to see the torpedoes as soon as I can. I figured, ah, oh, maybe he didn't send them, so I stopped watching that area. It's time to keep an eye on this North Carolina. I want to face my nose toward him, so I'm a harder target to hit. 
And here come those torpedoes, so just like I've taught in previous episodes, you want to make your ship parallel with where you believe the torpedoes are coming from. As long as you're parallel with those torpedoes, you're going to minimize damage drastically, or completely avoid it like this. Now I'm choosing to go behind this rock on the left, the island on the left, instead of going to the right. Because I want to get away from all of his main guns and make him have to turn them, and that's what happens here. When I zoom in, you can see his uh, rear main guns turning to face me. He can't shoot at me yet because they still have to turn. Now, and if I had gone to the right of the island, then he would have been able to shoot me as soon as I popped out on the other side. Alright guys, that's the end of this match. We win in 10 seconds. And so, I hope y'all uh, picked up some strategies here. We started off... Uh, in a defensive stance and grouping up with the teammates and then we had to switch an aggressive stance halfway through once it was a proper moment um, I hope y'all can make sense of that and um, apply that in y'all's own battles I hope this Takao series was helpful and look forward to some new episodes coming up of different ships catch y'all next time